Anthony Bobo and I have written a book called Commission to Love. And it's, it's for uh, you all. A certain expert of the law came to Jesus trying to test Jesus and he asked Jesus what might be the most profound question that we could ask. Who's my neighbor? And Jesus sets the scene. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, 18 miles of rough, rugged terrain. Translation, man going down the streets of the roughest place in your communities and mine. And what happens, the very thing that we're most afraid of, the reason that we have highways dividing us, right? Dividing our communities, the reasons that we don't live together, the reasons that we're that, that our schools are segregated still today. The man was beaten, stripped, left for dead, Jesus says. And who comes down the road? But the priest. He goes down the road, looks over at the man, and he passes by on the other side, as far away from the problem as he possibly could. And who is the priest today? What is Jesus asking you and I today? What is Jesus actually doing by giving us this parable? He's actually putting the church on trial. And the ones who are supposed to usher us into worship, the ones who know better, who's right, supposed right, to right, do right. better. You talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk. Who else comes down the road? It's the Levite. And who does the Levite represent but the temple assistant and the rest of us sitting in this room today? We're going to church today, church as usual. But the communities that we live in stay the same. Why is it that our schools have to be the ones that are failing? Come on, come on, it. Why is it that it's our communities that have to be broken? The church exists to do something about it. Yeah. We're not to be the ones who are passing by on the other side, leaving right, those right. that we can make a difference in their lives. Passing by on the other side. But who came down the road but a Samaritan as he journeyed? But what does the Samaritan do? The text says that he saw the man. Some texts say he took pity upon him, but others say he had compassion. He's compelled with compassion. He's compelled to act. He's moved viscerally. When you're moved viscerally, you got to do something about the problem. When was the last time you saw pain and agony in your neighborhood, in your community, that you were compelled to action? This is what the priests and the Levite are avoiding. This is what the church is avoiding today. I'm here to tell you, we can't do it looking at Twitter and IG and just trying to be advocates. We have to get our hands dirty. If we're gonna do this work, you're gonna get your hands dirty. It's gonna be messy. It's gonna be sloppy. But God gave us Jesus to untangle sin. You and I can't do it. Your job is to get in the game. But the question is, what we do for our neighbor, the very same thing we'll do for ourselves. If, if we ask that question, our grocery list will look a lot different. Our car ride will look a lot different. Our ride to church will look a lot different. If we ask the question, do we want for our neighbor the very same thing that we want for ourselves?